Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you a way of running a 277 volt light fixture from 120 volts. Now this method that I'm going to share with you is only for experimental purposes and should not be used as a permanent solution to this problem. If you would like to run a 277 volt fixture permanently off of 120, there are actual transformers out there that will do that. Again, this is only for experimentation purposes and demonstration, as I am going to show here, and again, should not be used as a permanent or semi-permanent solution to converting 120 up to 277. Because of that, I am not responsible for anything that you may damage or harm, being that yourself or equipment or anything else around you. So please, if you do decide to do this, proceed with caution. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the equipment that you will need for doing this. So we have on the right here a power cord for getting our 120 volts to our circuit that we are going to create. We have a jar of different um, wire nuts. So we'll have some different ones there. And you will need some type of a magnetic um, ballast. So here is the one that I am going to use. This is a advanced 400 watt metal halide or mercury vapor ballast. This one is multi-tap for 120, 208, 240, and 277 volts. Now this trick that I'm going to share with you works for converting 120 to 208, 240, or 277, all respectively, and I'll show you how to do that here. So there's our transformer that we're going to use. You do not need to have the capacitor for it as it shows on the uh, diagram there. That's only if you're going to use the ballast for its intended purpose of actually running a 400 watt mercury vapor or metal halide bulb. I have not tried this with any larger or smaller ballast. This is the only one I've tried it with because it's beefy enough that I'm not too afraid of it uh, harming itself or anything else. So. Of course, we'll need some type of a fixture that is only for 277. And I just happen to have one here. This is an induction street light with a 277 volt electronic ballast. So, let's go ahead and see what we need to do here to make this work. Let me get a good camera angle here. Now, the reason we're not doing this directly on the carpet is I don't want to have any of this stuff right on carpeting. That's not really safe. So that's why we're doing it on the tile here in front of the fireplace, for example. So, first off, we're going to need to find some of our power leads here, which happen to be these two for the ballast. And they're already stripped, which is nice at the ends. We we'll also need to look at the wires on our ballast. Look for the ones that say 277. We'll need that one. Um, I always hook up the common anyway. I don't know if it is required or not, but it's always good to just do it. And 120. So you'll need these three wires, the 120 wire, the 277, and the common. Those are the wires that we will need from the ballast. There are two common wires on the ballast, actually, for this one. It doesn't matter what one you choose, they're both the same. And we'll need our cord, of course. So, let's go ahead and get some wire nuts here. I really like to use these orange ones or black ones. This size seems to be pretty good for almost anything. So, what we're going to do is connect our 120 volt to our 120 volt here on the ballast. Let's see, let's not tangle this up too much. So we're going to connect the 120 to our power in here. Remember to twist your wires so make good connection. And we'll twist our wire nut on there. Make sure no wire is coming out either to make it safe. We'll have all of our uh, neutrals or commons going together. So that includes our main one here, the ballast, and the actual fixture itself. 
So we'll put all three of these together. In reality, this uh, wire coming from the ballast should really be stripped a little bit more. But um, again, this is only for experimental purposes, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Okay, so we have our 120 connected to the 120 line on our ballast. All the commons are connected together. And finally, we have our ballast for the fixture we want to light up. We're going to connect that one to our 277 volt line that comes from the ballast. So I need to get another wire nut here. We'll wire nut that one on as well. So, once again, we have the 120 from our main line in going to our 120 on the ballast here. We have all the commons put together. The fixture that we want to light up, we connect to our 277 line on our ballast here. So, let's go ahead and um, move back a little bit here so we can see both the bulb and our wiring. So we're going to take our plug here and let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. And there you go. We're now running a 277 volt fixture from 120. Fantastic. So, that's how that works. Of course this induction is 80 watts so it's quite bright so we can't really see anything else. Um, again, this is only for experimental purposes, so it shouldn't be left on too long, except for this little demonstration here. So we'll go ahead and unplug it. But that is how it works. I've heard of people doing this uh, before, and on some forums as well. But I decided to do a little video on how to actually put it together. So anyway, if you did do this, I hope it was a success and you didn't hurt anything or even yourself. Hopefully you didn't hurt yourself at all. That would be fantastic, obviously. And uh, you enjoyed your fixture that you've been wanting to turn on forever, but you've never found 277. So you may be wondering, how do you make it work for 240 and 208? Well, same idea. If you have a fixture that is only for 240 volts, make sure that uh, it doesn't pull too much, because again, this is only for experimentation. And just hook up your two 40 volt line to the 240 volt line on the ballast, wherever that may be. It's apparently this one right here. This is your 240 for the input for this ballast. So you're hooking it up to the 240 input line. That's what we did here. We hooked up the line input for the fixture that we wanted to light up to the input line on the ballast for 277. So it's very interesting that way. Again, same thing for 208. You have a fixture that is only for 208, use the 208 line. So it's kind of like a really interesting step up and down transformer. I don't know if it works stepping down, but it works going up. Overall, I really hope you enjoyed, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.